it is june the 22nd 2020 um i just got off work it is now approximately i got off work changed my clothes and it is now i just um, i showed you a picture of the ups because a lot of times when um they look like um i don't know if they're you know when you're dealing with um governments that are acting illegal um or unlawful that means they are actually behaving as terrorists then um they can use different things or different entities and um to terrorize so the ups truck was circling around it was a black male and looked like um driving it and as he came um past me as i just got off work from burger king um i changed into my workout clothes um he uh, um sounded like i heard the word brother Now, I'm assuming, so this is the time. It is 5.04 p.m. I got off work at four. Um, the reason why it took me so long is because I went on ahead and had a conversation. Um, Carl, the owner, one of the owners of the store, as far as I know, he, he is um, pale skin unless he claim a nationality. Um, his wife is Chinese American. Her name is Janelle. Um, as far as I know, both of them own the store. Um, and um, I just got to, he's one of the owners. Uh, he came in earlier today and um, he was speaking about, I'm at Whole Foods, by the way, in Annapolis, Maryland. Uh, so if you hear um, some odd feedback or someone talking that um, I've, I'll, I've gave testimony about, well, I'm at Whole Foods as a Moorish American, a natural divine celestial being um, at, at, um, in Annapolis, Maryland. You know, Imani Gray hyphen band, I Rhonda Arrington hyphen, we don't know anyone personally here in Annapolis, Maryland. And know how we imply we want to get to know someone personally we don't we just um basically do our job um we work and we stay connected to the same wars that we have always stayed connected to so um continuing in that thought so what i did was today um carl the owner came in a little bit earlier today around one um and um approximately and i told him i need to speak with him and he said okay speak i'll be here he said speak speak with me um after the ship so I got off, got off the clock, and um, I went and spoke with him. And the first thing I spoke to him about was Khalid Muhammad. He still, he, I worked with him today. Um, he, I told him, I said he curses on the floor and he curses at me, saying "f" and um, other words in front of customers on the front line. He said he's not supposed to do that. I'll talk to him. I was like, yes, I, I, I you know, I didn't. And I, he said he wanted to talk to him. I said, okay. So I told him about it. Um, then I spoke to him about um, the customer, the regular customer, that I told him the whole scenario. I said he's a regular customer before the pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, he would sit um, not at the regular table, but around the regular table with the rest of them. Um, he is, um, he's, the, he's, black, he's black male or African American. Um, I forgot his name. Um, I told him, um, but Thomas know his name because uh, he called out his name when the situation happened about my register being short. My register has never been short. Um, and I've worked there since um, since 2016. So um, I told him, I said, um, he, before the pandemic, he would come in with coupons, Birkin coupons. and Or if he didn't have a coupon, he expect for us to give him a senior cup, a senior discount. And so we would have to ring it up differently so he can get the senior cup and get a cheaper price. After the pandemic, I noticed um, he would um, pay for, he wanted, I was ringing him up for a senior cup, but um, the co-workers, my co-workers were giving him um, medium cups um in a small or a larger cup or sometimes i've seen a large and um and and then finally i you know i told um miss phyllis about it and um miss phyllis said it's okay you're not finally i i i, I you know i was like i don't because he the reason what what prompt me to do it is because he because i wouldn't do it i i saw i rang you up for a senior cup i'm gonna give you a senior cup i'm not gonna give away um Burger King's money or um, merchandise like that unless it's authorized and because it's not my company Islam it's not my company so I'm not authorized to do such things so he got upset with me and he started to be um, he started to say he didn't want me to wait on him anymore and um, then um, he said um, then he uh, what was his uh, 
then um, that that is what prompted me to go ahead and tell Miss Phyllis, and Miss Phyllis all said it was okay. But Thomas, the manager, said when I was working with Thomas, the manager, um, and the same thing, same scenario happened. He said it's not okay, and he was um, he spoke about he you know yeah he was like um, paid some about he was telling him to pay for the cup, you know pay for the cup. So um, once again, um, he would sit close to the regular table where most of them that sat at that table either apply to be connected to the United States Navy or Army or the Marine, or they are connected to the United States Navy, Army, and Marine. So, um, so Thomas, the manager, said it was a, oh, it was not okay. Phyllis, the manager, said it was. And since that happened, I still noticed that um, they were still giving them cups. I never did. Um, Doris, um, even um, he, one time, Doris was uh, she was a, during that day. When Thomas corrected him and said, um, he, he called, you know, and started saying, he actually he used the word man or something like that. And he was like, I'm sure, I couldn't believe that. Um, but uh, even that thought is um, 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 being uh, enforced, uh, forcibly uh, happening now. But he said, uh, man, just pay for the cup or something like that or something. I'm not sure. But um, Doris, she was sitting there because she had gave him the medium cup. She said, I didn't know. You know, and I was telling because the ticket said um, senior cup. So senior cup is 73 cents. A medium cup is over $2. A senior cup is a value 16 ounce cup. A medium cup is 29 ounce. And you know, Birkin is trying to stay afloat. Um, many, many companies are during this um, corona pandemic. So I, th I heard Thomas um, mention something like that, I think as well, I'm not sure, but I know he was upset that day um, because of just, you know, just, you know, the whole scenario. But after Thomas corrected him, I definitely, but Miss Phyllis, after that was still giving him a medium cup, like he would pay for a small, and Miss Phyllis would give him a medium and a large or whatever. So I, or, or so I just said, okay, she's the manager. I'm, that's her, it's not me. So, um, but then what ex escalated this situation was he came into Burger King um, and he was like, he said, um, uh, once again, what prompted me to um, ask Miss Phyllis is because I wouldn't give him the cup. Because see, in that, that sort of, uh, that can be implied, I'm sure, in favoritism. Uh, another customer used to come in like him and um, be charged for a small red um, icy. She was a black African American female, unless she claim a nationality. And see, Annapolis is small. People, you got families that know one another. And um, I noticed they were giving her a medium, but she was being charged a small. And then uh, finally, and I, I was like, okay, that don't, you know, this. I told her, I said, I don't, I know how long this is going to go on, but I don't think you're supposed to get that medium. And if I remember correct, it was Jay, the manager said she's supposed to get what um, a small. She paid for a small, but I wasn't giving her the medium uh, because um, I, I didn't, you know, I was like, wait a minute, why is everyone giving her a medium? It's something because there was an issue with the prices. Excuse me, with the medium and the small. But after they were cleared up, they were still giving her a medium. And see, that could be seen as favoritism, like you know someone, like you giving away food, you know, or somebody taking it as some form of endearment some type of engagement some type of connection with them and that is that is not the case especially with me because we don't know anyone personally here in, a, in annapolis maryland so um then after that situation was brought to light i noticed her cup her um her icy once again she was unless she claimed a nationality she'd be african-american would be um was starting to be small with the red um icy so then at, getting back to the guy um, that um, this recently situation happened that I spoke to Carl about, the owner, he said, um, so he came into Burger King and um, he told me that I did not give him his change back. Now he's a regular. Since I've been working at Burger King, I remember seeing him probably for the past three years. And once again, he would sit at the table. He orders a Whopper with no pickles. I told Paul this, a small fry, no salt. And he usually wants a small diet Coke. He never asks for ketchup. So he used, but he comes in like some of the regulars almost three or four times a week, um, approximately, I, you know, give and take back and forth. And um, I remember because um, one video, as I was looking back, he was on the video. It was um, Valentine's Day when those regulars were sitting at the table and they were talking about somebody being somebody's husband. 
there were they were black males um, that either applied to be connected to the Navy or Army, and some of them have and some of them have drove um, red trucks uh, that have the MIL showing that they um, either are connected to the Navy um, or Army, or they um, are in the Navy and Army. So um, that so he was one of the guys that was sitting at the table. Um, or, or, or close to the table on Valentine's Day this past year um, and the, those records were talking about somebody's husband or it's me or somebody's husband and so forth um, and I told you how um, outside of American extended state there's a black Negro accent or male African American accent male and female speaking about husband and I love you like they're deranged like an animal like a beast um, in the middle of the night um, mumbling like like some type of experiment so um, it's not that also he's Spanish speaking as well the exact same manner and pale skin yelling the number three um, and so forth um, three I love you paid stay uh, they used to say military quite a bit so um, what happened is today when I was talking to Carl and make a um, I try to um, make this um, video short um, I told him about the whole scenario about him being charged a senior price of 73 cents for a cup, a 16 ounce cup, but um, the co-workers were giving him a larger cup and um, he said, Carl said that what shouldn't be done. But I also told him about him um, stealing money because what happened, he told me, I didn't, now once again, he's approximately over th about three years now, I've been seeing him come into Burger King, I've been working for Burger King since 2016. And if uh, it could be even, it, I could be, it could be right at June 16th, but I'm just giving leeway, three years approximately. And he, um, he told me I had gave him his money um, back. He said, no, he said, I did not give him his change. I said, I didn't give you a change. We were really busy. Um, I think with three people on the floor, there was one in the drive through one taking orders and me. I think in, in, in the drive through was so busy and I was rushing. Thomas was working that day and I was rushing trying to, you know, because we were trying to um, multitask because um, of, you know, we are, um, we, short, we were shorthanded. Um, it was obvious and the drive through people are not able to dine in anymore because the dining room is closed down. So they go through the drive through So it's a good thing that the businesses still seem to be picking up in a drive through even though they're not able to come in and dine in. People still, so people do, they still come in and place orders, which that makes it even busier. So you have people in the drive through coming, um, going through the drive through and you have people coming in. And so we're supposed to be watching for masks as much as possible. Um, I went through that and um, making sure they don't go and use the bathroom because it's blocked off. And because I've I given given testimony about it seemed like um, I don't know those that seem to apply I, I, I don't know possibly be connected to the police Annapolis police I don't know but they have deliberately seem to be coming into Burger King without no mask and we have to I have to like um, check them and no, not check them but like say hey or um, ask them please put on your mask so I'm not sure for um, definite but definitely I, I mean after the first time you like okay but then I started noticing this was definitely um, a sequence that was happening um, too many times and so what happened what what I've been told and I haven't looked it up that you can be fine for serving someone with no mask on and but if it but if it's being if they definitely trying to catch you set you up is premeditated then um, I don't think no one should be fine especially if you're trying to be a part of the solution not spreading diseases and viruses like what happened in Alabama syphilis you know or any other form of disease but you're trying to be you're trying to do everything you can you know to um, hopefully the um, virus hit uh, cleans out so he the, the regular making a long story short it just I'm just getting it all out the way about feel bad he told me I did not give him his money his change back once again I've, I've been serving him for approximately three years I would say or maybe two and a half three years okay I'm giving leeway okay he um and I said as he was walking out the door I thought about it. I said I think I did and Thomas it was like I should have um, asked him this um, I should have asked him to count the drawer down immediately and I said well can you count it down now no one's I haven't taken no one's order 
nobody else's order. And he just left. Can you count it down now? He said no. He didn't want to count it down now. He was, I guess he was too busy. But sure enough, because I what happened was I gave him the guy that said he I didn't give him the change. I gave him the change again. So my drawer was exactly that that amount of money short. Um, and so his um, total was eleven dollars and some odd cents. And my drawer came up that short. My drawer has never been short. So I told Paul, the owner, about that today. Never been short. I've been there since June of 2016. Never been short. So, um, it's, so um, Carl said, you know, you, he was telling me you have people that deliberately try to do stuff like that. And I, and I was like, yes, that's true. So then the next issue I told Paul, the owner, was um, about Thomas. The um, first I kept looking at um, Thomas saying James, and I and I said, wait a minute, oh, excuse me. I mean Thomas. I said Thomas, Thomas, the manager. I said, um, can you tell him when he addressed me? He only addressed me by Rhonda. I told him I said I'm Moorish American. That's my nationality. And um, and um, the other day, I, I sometimes he used the word Mo when he addressed customers. And um, I didn't say co-workers, but he has used the word mo when he uh, addressed co-workers as well. Um, and this recently started happening. I would say in the past, maybe I started noticing this about two and a half months, maybe. Or look, I'm, you know, I, I, I don't know exactly, but I was just trying to ignore it. But then, um, just a, maybe two and a half, three weeks ago, he got he became so loud. He was saying mo to the customers and mo. To the um, co-workers I didn't tell Carl about the co-workers I said customers so I said can you tell can you tell him I told him I said I asked him I said sir are you saying mo and he, he then he started going back I told I'm telling Carl this he started going back and forth saying mo man mo man mo man mo man as though I, I wasn't hearing what he was saying like he was trying to make it seem like I was confused or what I was saying and you couldn't help but hear him because he was loud when he addressed just like I told I told Carl he addressed some of the customers as love and um, I asked him not to say that to me and uh, so and um, and I then um, I said can you tell him I said what I said Carl what really um, brought this to, to my attention is then um, last week he actually addressed me as Mo and he called asked me he said well, um, what is most sometimes a term of endearment that's why i'm using the word endearment for um moorish americans i say yes we do say most sometimes a lot of times in our um you know in our nation we say mo and he said oh he said sometimes um i, I he he's now he once again he's um he's the owner he's uh, one of the owners as far as i know he said he said he says it amongst his friends or something like that i said oh you do i said okay so um then um i you know but i said um i've i said for me as a moorish american i i'm asking i said can you tell him not to address me as mo um or love or anything besides my name i said i've always addressed him either by thomas or sir i said if he didn't want me to say sir i would not say sir i would try to address him for what he want me to address him by can you tell him so he pulled thomas in um in the conversation and Thomas denied it. He said, my southern accent made it sound like I was saying mo, but I was saying men. I said, no, you said mo. When it came back to me and I was able to speak, I said, no, sir, you said mo. I said, the reason why I question you is because you were saying it loud and you went back and forth saying mo, man, mo, man. And, and that's why I question you about it. You did not say you were not saying mo. You just kept saying mo, man, mo, man. And I went back to doing my job because I, I wasn't going to have that conversation with you. And I told him, I told Thomas, I said, Thomas, I'm a Moorish American. That's my nationality. And he said, he, he said, he, he, he spoke the words. He said, she, what, what, what is nationality? You act like your nationality is different. It's different from everybody else. He, you know, and I was like, I said, you don't know what nationality? I said, sir, I'm not having this conversation with you. If you don't know what nationality is according to constitutional law, I didn't ask him what his nationality is, Dwayne, but this is what I said. That's that's for you to study. I'm just saying that um, do not address me as Mo. He's, he, once again, he tried to say, my Southern accent made it sound like I was saying Mo. 
And I told him, I said, I told Paul, I said, no, you said, um, you was not saying man, you were saying mo. And you, just like you are today, trying to make it seem as though I'm hearing things, you did that that same day when I questioned you. You could have easily said, I'm not saying mo, I'm saying man. But you went back and forth as though you, you knew you could um, say that you weren't saying these words. At the, you could just go back and forth and lie. And that's, and I mean, and that's what I mean. I didn't finish the word saying lie, but it, I said you made it, you made it seem like as though I was being, I was hearing things that I, it wasn't, um, that I wasn't speaking the truth. So once again, he kept trying to say, he didn't say mo. So then Carl, um, I said, sir, all I ask is that you do not, uh, um, address me as, um, uh, nothing other than my name. Okay. And then Rhonda. Then Carl pulled in James. Um, James came with it. He's the one that admitted that he were, used to be in the army. I don't know if he's still in the army. Um, and um, Jade. Jade is uh, considered African American or black unless he claim a nationality. And James is black or African American. Uh, he had James had a cell phone and he was pressing. I don't know if he was recording the conversation or not. But he, um, after the conversation was over, he pressed the button on his cell phone. So, um, and um, we went back and forth, having um, communicating about, um, um, not back and forth, I stayed quiet. Um, uh, they were saying, well, if you don't want us to, we, we make mistakes, something, so, so, in other words, they were being apologetic. And I said, it's no problem. I said, um, I, said I, I brought up um, situations where I have used the wrong term to a coworker, and I was um, I was um, corrected. And I said, I didn't know. For instance, Jet, I, I remember when I first started working with Jet, she's a pale skin unless she claim a nationality. That's how I would describe her. Uh, she corrected me. I called her the wrong name. She corrected me. Dora, you have to take it up. Okay, one moment. There, um, move, uh, it, it, wait one moment. Okay, thank okay. you. No, okay, sir. What did you say to me as a customer? What did you say to me as a customer? What did you say? Five minutes. Oh, okay, no problem. I'm getting the stuff up. Okay. Okay, that was a Spanish guy. Um, they're saying they have to move this stuff. Spanish speaking, not Spanish. You know, um, Spanish speaking. Cause you know, the Spaniards conquered their lands and made them slaves. So they're not Spanish. They're Spanish speaking. Hold on one moment. So um, so now, um, now who's in the conversation is now Jade and James, Thomas, and Carl. And, um, I, and so I gave them examples and also I brought up Dora, uh, who is, uh, she told me she was from El Salvador. Um, she said that she was like, um, what did she say? She, uh, she, okay, she had a, um, name tag and I used to call her Doris. I thought her name was Doris. I didn't know. And um, then she, and then I saw her name tag. I said, Dora. I, I said, your name is Dora. I said, why didn't you correct me? I don't like calling people other than what their name is. And she just laughed it off as if it was nothing. But I, I told her, I said, I didn't mean to. Uh, so that was Jed, uh, the Spanish uh, speaking from El Salvador. Um, and then um, I brought up, um, I brought up Diamond. I used to say ma'am to Diamond when I first started working for Bird King. Diamond corrected me. And I said, oh, I will try my best not to call you ma'am. And then Jay said, I, I too corrected you. I didn't want to, it makes me feel old or something like that. I said, oh, yeah. I said, right. And I tried my best not to do that. So, um, 
the the thing was it was um i addressed the situation and um and what what was interesting to hear thomas speak about how he, i mean he said you what is he said what is your nationality you act like your nationality is different from everybody else and i and and where did i saw i i paused I was like, where did that come from in my thoughts um because if you're i mean everybody else i said that's that's what made me bring up constitutional law i said if you don't know constitutional law and what nationality is then that's something for you to um for you to um study and it's not about me uh, separating myself from everybody else that's, i didn't say this but in my thoughts Dwayne, you see that's how you can have um people that behave in a manner whether they are envious or um because he said everybody else when you have a nationality, you and, and those who do not claim a nationality, you are different from everybody else, according to constitutional law, or from those that have not claimed a nationality. You know, black, we taught as Moorish Americans, black, African American, Negro is not a nationality. Pale skin, white, white American is not a nationality. Hispanic is not a nationality. So I was surprised to him, him, because you can tell, I mean, I mean, that's, he said that when he was upset, uh, when he was trying to um, definitely lie and say that he wasn't saying mo okay so I brought this issue up and hope hopefully that it would be correct and um, I don't have to address um, him saying love I brought up love I said you know just call me by my name you know uh, the issue and I did say the issue is I, mean, I said you might I said you you want to call customers mo because he kept he was having a conversation with James and um, Jay saying that he was saying the names that he called the customers. He used every word except for Mo, and I kept saying it. I said, and Mo, and you used the word Mo because he was trying to deny it. And I know that he, um, I, I've heard him say it too many times. But that day when I questioned him about it, and he kept going, Mo, man, Mo, man, he was saying it so loud. I couldn't help but question him because I, as a Moorish American, I felt a, a little harassed and um was wondering why is he saying this and then why is he saying mo what where did it come from because he when i've been working with him for over uh, for approximately two years and he wasn't saying mo then so what is making him say mo now and he's past maybe three i don't know two and a half three months i've noticed this i i, I don't you know approximately what is making him what caused him to do such things so um anyway doing about the day um once again so that's so i addressed it i spoke to carl um he is one of the owners in front and so i, I did not um expect for everybody to uh, join in the conversation they agreed to address try to uh, always address me because um james once again he had his cell phone um he uh, before he uh, pressed the button i don't know what he was doing he, he admitted how he would say baby or bay and i corrected him and um so forth so um it's been addressed those three issues khalid muhammad the guy that's a regular that would sit close to the table with the other regulars that are connected to the united states navy and army and also um the situation of them of hearing thomas um address me by a mo and i have am i my nationality being moorish american so those three um, issues were addressed to the owner. So hopefully I don't have to um, feel or um, feel like any um, repose or uh, retaliation from it. It's long. I mean, it's June the 22nd, 2020.